So it looks to be we're going to have potentially two big battles here. We're going to have the battle for the ultimate stage win. And then everyone else looking around in this second group. The green jersey battle will go on and go down. And then other riders making sure that they don't lose too much time on the GC. Pretty much all the favorites on the same time. There are no time bonuses here. So it's all about the time differentials at the finish. No time bonuses for place finishes here at the Vuelta a Burgos Feminas. 1,300 meters to go now. It's Garcia on the front. A little flick of the elbow here, but Muzik is not coming around or can't come around, whatever the case may be. She's just happy and for now to just sit on Garcia's wheel. Garcia doing most of the leading. It's bike exchange on the front of the main chase group. Now they're on to this final ramp up to the finish. One kilometer to go. And you can tell the speed has dropped as they start to ramp things up here. It gets up over five, six percent. The Peloton in full flight. Now it's EF Education uh, on the front. Ronick Ewers was uh, one of the riders up there. Ewers has GC ambitions, the young uh, American rider. Back we go to the front of the race. Less than a kilometer to go now. In fact, 780 meters to go. The switchback comes. Got to see you up out of the saddle, dancing on the pedals now. Music happy to just sit on the wheel. And here comes the break. Uh, the elastic band may snap here for Evita Muzik, and it does. Garcia knows that the peloton is closing down on her. We're into a bit of a hare and the hound situation here with the peloton going much faster than the two leaders, Garcia and Muzik. We had this yesterday as they came up to the finish with the breakaway just barely hanging on by six seconds. Mavi Garcia senses that they are coming. So Garcia goes full gas and is all in to get to the finish line. Mavi Garcia, full power now. The Spanish national champion, only a few more weeks before she'll have to defend that jersey in the Spanish national championships towards the end of June. Garcia, a little look back. This is going to be a great win for Mavi Garcia. And I can hear the announcer going wild at the finish. They love their cycling in Spain. They love their Spanish riders. And Mavi Garcia is going to ride away with it here. She made an attack to go away with Evita Muzik. And it is Garcia who will prevail here up at the summit of the climb at the top of this beautiful karst ridge at Ojo Buena. Mavi Garcia taking the win. She is excited about that. 2.46, the race time. And it is going to be Muzik who will get here in second. And it's a battle for second place between either Labus. And here it is once again, solo ride to the finish. A little look back here from Garcia. She kind of had it in the bag from this point on. Nice crowd here at the summit of Ojo Huerena for the win, the UAE team, the smallest team here. They only brought four riders. So no real team help for Garcia of note. She did this all on her own. Riding strong right to the finish and there it is. The grimace turned into a grin and a massive smile for the UAE rider, yeah. Big hugs from Mavi Garcia. Detalia Dorne uh, last year. So that was last summer, so almost a year between race wins for the great Mavi Garcia. There are the time gaps and these are significant. This will play into the and there is our overall on the GC right now as it stands. Garcia, Music, Kopecki. 